Ladies and gentlemen, I want to do something that's random today. I want to do something that's out of the ordinary. Usually, my ideas are planned out. But you know what? Today, I want to go on like Facebook groups and just look at what people are saying. What am I going to find out today? Who knows? I just want to see what are the common things people are talking about when it comes down to Street Fighter Five. All right, so Michael Woods, rank doesn't matter, that is all. You know what's crazy? When, when I made my video about leveling up over rank up, I didn't even see he said that. But you know what? I'ma just put a smiley face and hopefully he catch on. That's all I'ma just put. I'ma I'm just put a smiley face on that and I'ma leave it at that. Everyone's scared of the newly competent Ryu, but there's no one else petrified of Fang with a defensive option. He's officially best character. Hmm. Actually, that's something to think about because Fang was always one of them characters that was able to quote unquote rob you if you didn't know the matchup. But that goes with any character. If you don't properly lab the matchup, a character could get away with murder. So now, since a character like that with V Shift, this is actually something to fear. But officially the best character in the game? I don't know. That's kind of overkill. But I see what he's saying though. Alright, so that moment when you plan rank and the game disconnects and you lose points feel bad. I know exactly what he means. You know how many times CFN had disconnected me from the service? And because Capcom service disconnected me, I had to lose points? Especially, especially when I was in the middle of winning? I have to lose points because of you? You know what, bro? I'm gonna have to drop my sad face on that because I know what he's talking about. Have you ever beat somebody online to a point where they just give up and just stand there? Yes. Yes. But in my situation, I've had somebody stand there. No, no, no. Give up, stand there, and join my stream just to tell me that they hate the matchup. Just go ahead and win. I've actually had somebody do that. And then they will proceed on and just be like, they don't understand the matchup. They feel like it's pointless. This, that, this, that. But I feel like at that point, I don't know. Character choice does affect outcomes, but nothing is impossible. A Ken player hates the Balrog matchup, but if you see a high level Ken play, they'll make it look like it's in Ken's favor. So knowledge does play a part. All right, so this character came up in the discussion about the strongest female in the world. Some agreeing with me that it's Chung Lee, others saying it's Rose and Ingrid. So to play devil's advocate, what if Ingrid is the final secret character? Well, um, <clears throat> if we were to take a look, right? Hold on. If y'all take a close look, the new costume for this character is three. Three CPT costumes, right? So we all know that the gender that gets the most costumes at a time are females. So it's already kind of out there that it's going to be a female character, quote unquote. This I could be wrong, but it's, it's just me speculating. But, I mean, Ingrid can be a fifth character. I mean, we are speculating another crossover, so nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Ryu went into Power Rangers. How do people feel about that game? I felt like that game died. I wasn't really getting no... Social media wasn't talking about it until that Ryu got in there. Like the, the Ryu Power Ranger. People say it's like Marvel, but I don't, I don't know. Like I haven't really looked into it. So that game is good. I, I just bought it, it's $13 on Steam. Yeah? I'm gonna have to look at some gameplay. Like I didn't really hear about it until the Ryu came up. All right, hi everyone. I'm in gold rank, but I think I'm stuck. How can I be better? I play with Ryu. Oh, um, okay. This, this man said Daigo videos. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna read everybody else's comment. I'm, I'm gonna just go off the dome piece real quick. All right, so my dude said, "Hi everyone. I, I'm in gold rank, but I'm. I think I'm stuck. 
how can I be better? I pay a reading. All right, so I'm gonna just spit off the top of the dome. Check this out. All right, my fellow young whipper, snapper. There are several things to look into when it comes down to getting better. Just use V Trigger 2, okay? Just use V Trigger 2. All right, with, with a smiley face, because he might think I'm trolling. But I'm, I'm gonna put a smiley face right there. You know, actually, now nah, screw the smiley face. I'm gonna put in parentheses, buffed. All right, and then I'm gonna put the smiley face. That's the tech. This results to dedication, practice, and determination for the elimination. Okay, for the elimination. You know what? You know what? We, we we about to spit. We about to spit. Hold on. This results to the dedication. Okay. So I'm going to just post that and hopefully he read that. All right. So that's where we will leave that at. Season 5 has been great so far. Nothing but fun times playing Street Fighter 5. You know what? I love his energy, right? Because don't get me wrong. Street Fighter 5 is a fun game. Street Fighter 5 is a fun game. But... It's just the net code that weighs it down. Like, if we were still attending offline, people would still be loving Street Fighter. Like, overall, it's a fun game. Okay, so Chung Lee gets full V gays, Chung Lee players, you know the rules, and so do I. Okay, I'm kind of lost on that one. Chroma, Chromatero versus, I never heard of him. Has anybody heard of that ball rope player? Chrome, Chrome Terra? He said it's decent if you know the meme. No, 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 if you know the song. Yeah, I actually don't know the song, bro. I would have to listen to it to catch on to that. All right, so, oh, hey, look at me. Look at me. I realize most players like to try and rank up a before level up. That's backwards. Nine minute video explaining what I mean. So once again, y'all, I don't know when this video will go live, but hear me out. If y'all come across my why it's important to level up, not rank up, please feel free to check it out because in that video, I pretty much pointed out some things that I realized in my past performance and what people ask me. And I feel like most people try to rank up without leveling up, which kind of leads to them getting in this mindset to where the rank matters and when they always losing they want to give up so if y'all haven't watched this video please feel free to check it out because hopefully i motivate and encourage those who feel like they down in the slump you won't oh god jerry no oh wait learning to play with confidence hold on is it time to gather up some ideas learning to play with confidence hold on you know what? i'm not gonna watch this I want to skim through it. Not every journey is going to be A to B. Sometimes you have to double back, and sometimes you get to skip things. And in this case, we're doubling back. I still have issues with my confidence levels, you know. I was playing on the jury account, as you see here, in Discord with Broly Legs and Juices again, getting a little bit of coaching. And the main thing that I had issue with, besides some, you know, knowledge-based stuff about jury and her combo routes and conversions, was just playing super scared just playing like a bitch you know most of the game and now there's a very big difference between playing defensive and turtling and blocking everything out and, and playing you know scared okay so just off the beginning of that video i know exactly what he's saying this is actually a good video i learned within 50 seconds where he's going this is a good video this is actually a good video basically he's trying to get people to play with confidence Forget the fact that if you go against a high level name, just X that fact out. X that out, right? Just play your game, play like, play your heart out. Don't ever play without confidence. That's a good video. That's actually a good video because some people have that mindset to where when you go against a certain person or a certain rank, you kind of play more timid than what you normally would against somebody that's in the same rank as you. That's a good video. My guy had me, but managed to pull a comeback. GG's. Uh-oh. Comeback clip. 
a comeback clip. T.T. Bison. I think I know him. Uh-oh. The audio's kind of delayed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's time for a comeback? It's time for a comeback? See? Look at that. That's so dirty, bro. That is so dirty. Good job. Alright. Um. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's gonna be pretty much it. Uh, shout out to that dude who made that video, though. Learn to play with confidence. That's a real good idea. But hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. I had fun actually reading what people are talking about when it comes down to these groups.